In 2008, we filmed a military court case um, where 10 different soldiers were on trial for rape and other crimes they committed. And we were just there by coincidence and started filming the whole process, the four day trial. But then there was one trial of a soldier that was well, in the end convicted for 10 years of rape. And during the trial, we just discovered there's, there's no evidence at all that this man should be uh, convicted. A charge d'âge dans Massamba Massamba, poursuivi du chef de. En date du 12 mai 2008, à 19h30, commis un viol, soit à l'aide des violences ou menaces graves, ou par contrainte à la contrainte d'une personne. En l'occurrence, avoir violé par ruse la nommée six femmes âgées de 25 ans. Madame Sifa, uh, And then there was one lawyer, Claudine Tsonga, who's the main character of our film. She was really outspoken about this. And she said, okay, I really want to investigate this, reinvestigate this case. Madame, Boni, Claudine. Na mona ki jugement oyo e condamna ki o na premier degré na garnison ton a cour. Si ko na za intéressé pour na yeba et lo konini salemaki pour les lots à la à la prison. Les camasso de la Goloba, même partout dans le bas. Ouais. La lobe de la garnison de Tila. La Goloba le coup tard, il a l'ouba mini, tout va bien dire. Il a ça. Boni, boni, ma balade. There's more international money flowing into Congo, but really trying to stop sexual violence, have projects for, for victims. And I mean, you slowly see that there are negative side effects coming out of this. And that's what you see in the film and what, that's what you see uh, within the justice system. Basically, the system is not ready yet to have all these convictions. But there is so much money now from the international community, also pressuring the Congolese government. Men are convicted without enough proof. And, and it's just, I mean, it's, it's going a little bit in the other direction. Most of the cases are full with doubt, which means that you shouldn't convict people. But because the pressure's up, they want to see the, the figures going up, the men are getting convicted. And this is something that in the long term, can lead to, you know, uh, people are not trusting the legal system already, but they will um, start doubting and trusting in the legal system even more. And, you know, they can also start questioning, you know, is this a real victim or is this just someone that claims to be raped because it's an easy way to get uh, someone um, out of the way. It's not yet seen on a big scale. So, yeah, our aim is to get this film out there in the world and bring it to platforms like human rights um, organizations that are working in Congo, the international um, governments that are you know, funding all these projects to make them aware this is a serious problem. They have to start changing their projects a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, we don't. <laughs> yeah. Being twin sisters, um, I think it's a little bit of a myth that people like to think that we are telepathic or that kind yeah. of stuff. It's just, you know, <laughs> like we in Congo, we do like have advantage that we are twins. Like twins are in, um, mm. especially in the eastern part of Congo, they bring luck. So if we sometimes 
have problems with authorities and that happens quite often or they as soon as they see that we are twins they just mm -hmm. they love it and then if there was like a sort of a grim atmosphere that disappears <laughs> <laughs>